Around the world, this is called Pashmak, dragon's beard, fairy floss, but I like to call it edible hair because that sounds way more appetizing. Just kidding. This is hand pulled cotton candy. You only need a few ingredients to make hand pulled candy, the main one being sugar. Now others have made this with honey, but I find I have a hard time doing with it. It's a lot easier when you do it with sugar. You also need some corn syrup that will prevent it from hardening too much and make it flexible and pliable. Some white vinegar, water, and food coloring of your choice. I love traditional pink cotton candy, so I'm gonna add a few drops of red. In a saucepan off the heat, I'm going to add all of the ingredients. Make sure you're using light corn syrup. I like to give everything a good stir before I turn on the heat. That way the sugar gets a little head start in dissolving. Alright, that looks good. The heat will help dissolve the rest. You want to leave this on medium heat. You want it to heat up slowly, so about 20 to 25 minutes until it reaches 269 degrees Fahrenheit, which is the hardball stage. Hardball, like your mom's. I love your mom. Make sure from time to time you use a brush and some water to water down the edges so that crystals don't form. We're almost there. Just remember to occasionally water down the sides, even the uh, thermometer. All right, it's at 268. That's when I like to turn off the heat. It'll hit 269. Now, while it's off the heat, let it sit there until it reaches 212. That way it's cool enough to pour into this container. The reason I'm using a plastic quart container is because it'll be easier for me to pop it out later when it hardens. If you wanted to use glass, you could go ahead and spray it with some cooking spray, but I think this is the best method. You hear that? You know it's ready when it's firm, but it still has a little give. If it's rock solid, you could just pop it in the microwave for a few seconds until it has a little give. To release it, just turn the container over and keep pressing to release the sides. Ready? Okay, I think this is it. Boom! It doesn't look like it now, but this one piece is gonna turn into tens of thousands of strands. And to do that, I have a tray with a bunch of cornstarch, and that's what's gonna prevent everything from sticking together. Now just coat the puck with the flour. Then you wanna try to make a hole in the center, kind of like a donut, by using your thumb, kind of stretching it out, and <laughs> it looks like I gave birth to my finger. Make the hole bigger by squeezing all around the sides to make sure every side is equal. So just squeeze a little bit on the thicker parts and leave the thinner parts alone. Make sure that you keep the candy coated in the flour. It's turning into a steering wheel. You're gonna make the ring a little larger. Now you take this huge loop and make a figure eight. So now I have four strands. Now that's stretched out enough. I'm gonna make that figure eight again. Loop it around and continue the process. You go around and make sure all the strands are even. Another figure eight and keep pulling. Ready to twist again. If you do the math, you do this about 14 times, you'll get over 15,000 strands. I was never very good at math, so if you could do it, leave a comment. Don't worry if every strand is not equal. The worst thing that's gonna happen is that one of the strands will snap, but that's okay. Keep going and you will get thread-like strings. It's already starting to look like hair. I'm just going to break off some of the strands just by pulling it. I'm taking this cute little straw and just wrap the candy around it. And there you have it, hand-pulled cotton candy. Mmm, mmm. Tastes just like cotton candy, but with a different texture. I hope you guys give this a try. I'll see you next time. Remember to just eat life. No, I, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> or should I?